What's up everyone? Uh, before I start with this quick comprehensive review, just check out this trick I saw online. Okay, actually that could have looked quite funny, but I uh, didn't have enough time to master it. Um, okay, let's start with this uh, quick comprehensive review of the Zwift app and the Tax Neo. In the night you wake me up when the sun goes down Feelings right you wake me up when the sun goes down Sleepless nights you wake me up when the sun goes down I can't help it baby not myself when the sun goes down Okay, so I got the, the tax when I broke my collarbone and obviously I also subscribed to this Zwift application that everyone was going on about. So now let's start with what I like about the combo. So first of all, the Zwift app really connects quite easy with a lot of my units, my power meter on the bike, uh, my heart rate strap and the, the tax Neo trainer. Um, the thing I really like about the app is that you don't need an IT degree to actually be able to connect to your unit. Um, it picks it up quite easily um, and you just connect it, uh, press a button on the screen and uh, you connect it and you're ready to go. Uh, Zwift has created an app where you can actually race your friends uh, across the world, participate in races, do different types of courses. Uh, challenge yourself to do these courses almost like some of the Strava challenges and they've incorporated it into the app um, which really motivates you to achieve some of the goals and it just keeps uh, you a little bit longer on the trainer and ultimately increasing your form a little bit more. To make the app a little bit more fair they have created uh, the watts per kilogram system so that's basically um, based off of your FTP. So if your functional threshold power um, is put in correctly, um, you should get an amount uh, which is a watts per kilogram. So not everyone that weighs 80 kilogram um, can ride easily at 300 watts. So a person, for example, like my friend Mornay who weighs about 50 kilogram, half the size that I am, um, won't be able to pedal 300 watts but if he's doing 200 watts and I'm doing 300 watts um, it actually equates watts per kilogram to the same speed so that's how we will be able to ride together on the Zwift app um, by using this calculation of watts per kilogram unfortunately some people don't put in these correct values so I have done intervals where I go full gas for about a minute and I just get someone speeding past me uh, going for another 10 kilometers um, which they probably have to have been doing about 900 watts um, which I don't even think some of the best in the world can do for two to two to five minutes but uh, yeah it's all about fair play so what I really like about the Zwift app is the fact that once my Training Peak account is linked to the Zwift app, um, I can automatically just go to uh, Training Options, click on, 
on my training peaks file it incorporates my training peaks file into the Zwift app and I can do that training uh, that structured training that my coach has created on training peaks on Zwift so for example you would have put 30 minutes warm up and then I start with uh, the intervals and a 10 minute cool down and that's really cool. Um, you don't have to go import anything. Once the uh, Training Peaks account is linked with Zwift, um, everything's automatically already there um, and it doesn't cost you any time. And this is really cool. So there are numerous upgrades, uh, like upgrading your glasses, your helmets, your bikes. Uh, the, the more kilometers you do, the more challenges you complete, the more experience points uh, you get. For example, you can see here, Okay guys, so seeing as I'm on the time trial bike, I thought uh, I'll change over to the time trial bike on Zwift as well, seeing as I'm doing this review. It really simulates real life very good. A review wouldn't have been a review if there weren't any downside. Um, unfortunately the app's not available on my phone. Yes, it's a companion app, but not the virtual reality app. Um, it does require quite a lot of data to download the application on your computer or your iPad but if you have unlimited i uh, if you have unlimited Wi-Fi that should not be a problem at all for you the only other downside I have is the uh, subscription fees um, there are a lot of other applications that are also coming up um, but obviously nothing in my opinion compares to Zwift at the moment um, and the subscription fee is about 15 euros, I presume, um, more or less. For some that might be a bit pricey, for others not. Um, it would be really cool if, there, if there's an option that accommodates the people that can't really afford that. Okay, on to the Tax Neo trainer. So when I'm looking for trainer, I'm looking for trainer that is really stable. So when I put my bike on it, um, it doesn't move left and right on the floor too much yes the bike obviously um, i don't want a trainer that wakes up my neighbors at the middle of the night if i missed a training session and i don't want a trainer that makes so much noise that it drives my girlfriend crazy and she eventually leaves me what really makes a tax neo different to other trainers first of all um, it doesn't make any noise at all you can actually sit in front of the TV um, while spinning on it um, and watch your favorite series with your girlfriend or boyfriend while the sound does not irritate them and you can still hear what's going on on TV. So once the app is connected to Zwift um, and you've chosen a route, it simulates that route. So whenever you're going downhill, you need to shift down a lot of gears, maybe up your cadence a little bit. Um, and as you're going up, the resistance immediately changes um, and you need to go to a small blade as you're going up a climb. Um, so it really simulates um, outdoor riding um, almost perfectly the same. Um, and that's really cool. Um, it, does, it makes it a lot, le a lot less boring. It targets different muscle zones. Um, so for, for training, that's awesome. And finally, the fact what I really like about the Tax Neo is that it folds up which means I can store it in a really small apartment um, and by it folding up this way it's actually really uh, more easy to pick up as when you pick it up the weight is distrib distributed evenly as these uh, type of trainers are quite heavy um, but for good reason it uh, gives you good stability on the bike it's really silent. To be honest, there's not much more I can say uh, about this combo with Zwift and the Tax Neo. For me, while I had an injury and a broken collarbone, it really motiv motivated me to keep on going. It was really easy uh, to install and set up. I didn't need an IT degree. Um, it's really user friendly. It doesn't make a lot of noise. And like I said, with it folding up, it's easy to store away, move, put in the car take uh, take with me um, so that's all for today if you really like these reviews 
Um, hit the like button, hit the sub button, leave a comment. I would really like to do these things more often in my off time. Uh, so yeah, please leave your comment, like, sub, and uh, keep this channel going.